Hi guys, yesterday I showed you how to make high quality videos with your smartphone. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll have the link in the description. Today we're gonna show you how to do basic editing with Premiere Pro. Uh, for 4K video editing. You can actually use any 4K footage, but we will use the footage we took yesterday with the LG V20. So let's go learn how to do it. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, first thing you'll want to do, obviously, is copy over the files. All right, so I've got all my video files under High on Android YouTube video folder. Next, we're going to go ahead and use uh, open up Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Uh, I do recommend this is, uh, I love this thing. Uh, first thing you wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and start you uh, with a brand new project. So go ahead and open up a brand new project. You can call it uh, my new project, All right? Hit okay. All right guys, once you have your project here, uh, you'll need a new sequence. So go under files, new, and choose sequence. And you can go ahead and use one of these uh, templates. I usually use a DSLR, digital SLR, uh, 1080p 30 here. Now, since we're doing um, 4K, we're gonna have to change the frame size. So go into settings and change this to 3840 by 2160. And this is for 30 frames per second. So go ahead and hit okay. And now you have a new sequence, as you can see here. Now. On the left here, you'll find a browser where you can browse to your file. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the high on Android, wherever put the video files, YouTube video, and you'll see all of my video files here, all right? I'm gonna sim simply select all the video files, all right? And I'm gonna do right click, import. And I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag all of this here. Now you'll see that I can't really see this, so go ahead and drag up the video part. It will show you actual the video sequence and also the audio too. You'll be able to see the waveforms here. All right, for this video, we're not we're not actually using the audio. So what you can do is select them all like this. Do a right click, unlink, and it will unlink the video file. Like if you want to move it, um, change it with another audio or whatever. You can do it like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and just select the audio here. I'm gonna hit the delete key. That'll erase everything off there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, take out the best shots I want. So this first scene, I actually have uh, four shots I took. So I'm gonna actually just use this one here. Uh, select this and also delete. Use the delete key to delete. All right, and I wanna actually start this out where it starts sliding. So I'm gonna simply click and drag this here so it'll start right there and you, you'll see it looks very nice here and it's gonna stop all right there's three keys you're gonna have to remember that i use the most the c which is cut the m which is for ripple ed edit and v which is regular selection mode all right c v or m all right um those three keys i use the most uh let me show you that again so let's say i want to end it here let's say done sliding I wanna end it here. Hit the C key on your keyboard. It changes into the razor tool, all right? Cut tool, whatever. And now I'm gonna switch it back to V, which is the regular selection mode. I'm gonna go ahead and select on this clip that I don't need. And I'm gonna hit the delete key, which will delete that frame. So in the first scene, I've got this. In the second scene, you'll see that where it starts sliding. So I'm gonna use the C key again, cut it here. Or also you could just use the, use the V key a selection tool and just drag it like that. You can do that. So it starts here and it's gonna stop sliding. So I'm gonna use the C key, cut it here. And there's a scene where I'm taking the S pen out. So I want this scene right here. So I'm gonna go back to V or you can use C. I'm gonna use V and just drag this so I can have this scene only right there. All right, that's good enough. I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna hit the C key, uh, cut it there, use the V key, select and delete. All right, I'm gonna bring these first three scenes together. And then I'm gonna keep doing that for all these uh, scenes that I wanna put together. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now, another tip, you can also use the plus and minus keys, all right? 
When you're in your timeline, hit the plus and it'll be able to zoom in. Hit the minus key and it will zoom out. All right, this is very useful uh, so you can quickly zoom in and out of your timeline. Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest of the editing here. Okay, I'm done pretty much taking up all the pieces. Now we can always make these scenes a little bit longer uh, or a little bit bigger on the go. I'm gonna place this whole thing in the beginning here. And you will see that it starts at zero right now, ends at 43. So we may have to cut it if we're doing a 30 second video. I'm gonna go ahead and bring one of these uh, music. It's called The Champ, right? Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put it there. All right, so I'll have some music. I'm gonna go ahead and play it back. So when the music changes, uh, when it transitions, I'm gonna make the clip change. Right there, I'm gonna use the B key, which is the ripple edit. And what this allows you to do is uh, shorten this clip here and everything will follow. So I don't have to cut and move anything. So I can do this on the go. So there you go, let me play it again. There you go, you see the nice transition there. And I'm gonna do the same thing uh, with the rest of the clips. Right there. So this time I'm gonna drag this clip, make it a little bit longer like that. And it will make this clip a little bit longer and then it will push the rest of the clips out. It seems a little delay, so I'm gonna use the plus key to zoom in and get where exactly the waveform changes. Right there, so I, I missed it, so I'm gonna put it right there, use the key. So now it will transition right into the beat of the music. All right, right here too, there's a transition. I'm gonna move this guy just a tad, all right? And I'm gonna do this for the rest of the clips and uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna do today. All right, I'm done with the clip uh, here and it looks pretty nice so far. I've got it transitioning to different scenes. And what I'm gonna do uh, here is I'm gonna use a C key and cut the rest of the audio because that's the end of it. And I'm gonna use the V key, select this, hit delete, and that'll get rid of it. And that's this is my whole 30 second video and we ended up with something like 34 seconds. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly 34 seconds. I'm just giving you an example. Now, when this, this scene ends, you wanna be able to, you want the scene to uh, have the audio coming down. Otherwise it sort of ends like that, it's sort of like, Weird, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select on the audio and we're gonna go ahead and select the end uh, f start of this clip somewhere, like anywhere here, All right? I've selected the audio. Now if you go into your effects controls, open up on uh, volume here, uh, you'll see level here, all right? So what you can do, you can add a keyframe. What keyframe does is uh, it tells Premiere to set this point to zero dB. All right, I'm gonna set it here. You'll see a little dot. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want this thing to go down all the way about here, about the end of it. I want it uh, sound to slowly get lower. So I'm gonna set this to something like negative 30, all right? So now what will happen, uh, the music will lower and it will look like, you know, it's lowering. All right, so that looks good. Now, if you if you wanna do more effects, you can do the same thing. You just have to add more effects. So for example, I want to, this thing to actually uh, darken along with the, uh, the music. So what I can do is go to, op uh, select on the actual clip that you wanna darken. I'm gonna go opac uh, opacity here, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, add a keyframe. And I'm gonna go to the same spot here, and I'm gonna have opacity like 5%, all right? So it'll darken. So now when we play it, we'll have both music and the video fading away. All 
All right, that's pretty much our whole video. If you wanna add some watermarks, you can also go to title here, add new title, default still, um, hit okay. And I'm just giving you this example. There's literally a thousand ways to make your videos better at video effects. I'm just showing you the basics of it for those of you noobs who wanna make uh, 4K videos. So I'm gonna just put, let's say, Galaxy Note 4. And let me just go ahead and change this font to something a little bit. I'm gonna change it to Verdana. Uh, change the font size to 300. Oops, should be Note 7. All right, here we go. And I'm just gonna put Galaxy Note 7 here, right, for the beginning. And if you go into project here, you'll see your new note uh, title here. So go ahead and click and drag this and make this so it will fit that scene. So when it first starts out, you'll see Galaxy Note 7. All right, and you'll see the next scene. Now, if you wanna edit this title, it's too close, you can simply uh, click and drag. Now, there's also advanced ways where you can track and make it move with your object. Uh, I'm not gonna go into that, but there's a bunch of YouTube videos that show you how to do it, but that looks all right, you know. And now it's the rendering part. Uh, once you have your whole video done here, we're gonna go ahead and render it out. Uh, so one of the best ways to do it uh, is go to Files, Export, Media. And one of the best reasons to use Adobe Premiere is that their rendering software is separate uh, using the Adobe Encoder, which means while it's rendering, you can also edit other, other videos. Uh, while like other software like Sony Vega, I think, when you're rendering, you can't edit anything or, you know. And the good thing with Premiere is if it messes up, sometimes if your computer's slow, it doesn't render right, you can just rerun the render program and it will do it. Anyway, for the setting, try match source high bit rate, all right? Uh, that will give you the basic settings, 3840 by 2160. If you're uploading to YouTube, I usually take it down, uh, take it up a notch. If you do at the default 10 megabits per second, it's gonna look crappy. So set this to like 40, maximum bit rate 45, something like that, and that will look very good. You don't, you, you can also do render at maximum depth, uh, also use maximum render quality, but I have found that it doesn't really make a difference. So this should be minimal. A VBR one pass 40 megabits per second and 45 megabits per second. Now you can save this preset. Go go in up here and type like something like 4K 40 megabits per second. My own preset for YouTube. All right, hit OK. Next time you want to render it out, you can choose your exact setting here, and all you have to do is go ahead and name it. Go ahead and type uh, Note 7. 30 second commercial. All right, so we made our little 30 second commercial that we shot with an LG V20 uh, Q, and this will open up encoder and just let it encode. Now, if you wanna let it encode faster, um, go ahead and close out of Adobe Premiere. All right, that'll free up more memory. And when I'm rendering, I usually don't do anything with this computer, but uh, that was only 30 seconds, so it's only gonna take us one minute. And I have pretty good setup. I've got a, a 59 Intel i7 5960X with uh, GTX what is 980. Yeah, GTX 980. So if you have a slower computer, it's gonna just take a lot, a lot longer. But it will work so long as you, you're able to edit it. And you don't need a 4K uh, monitor to actually edit. My monitor is actually only 1080p. It's a wide angle, but it, it's nowhere near 4K. Premiere will let you edit videos uh, in 1080p for 4K video. So you don't need a 4K monitor to actually edit 4K videos. And I don't do that. I usually use my 1080p monitor. All right, when that's done, let's go ahead and go here and go ahead and double click on our commercial and let's watch it.
thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you want to learn more about Premiere editing, I mean, I've, I learned everything through Google and YouTube. Just go search for whatever you want to learn and there's probably a tutorial about it. What I just showed you was just basics of just putting pieces together, put some music. There's more advanced stuff like color grading, video effects, all that good stuff. There's a ton of tutorial guys out there, but this should help you get started. This will at least help you edit basic videos that you took with different footage. And if you want to get serious about it, you can buy like a book on Adobe Premiere editing over at your local bookstore, or you can go to uh, the library. You can get the older Adobe Premiere books, uh, which are pretty much the same as the new ones. You know, the menus just look different. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, Instagram, Periscope, Snapchat. And as always, stay on Android. Yeah. Click here to subscribe. I'm, 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 I'm.